And she's staying with us now. According to World Drug Report 2019, in 2017, an estimated 271 million people or 5.5 percent of the global population aged between 15 and 64 had used drugs in the previous year. While this is a similar, um, this is similar to the estimate in 2016, a longer term view reveals that the number of people who use drugs is now 30 percent higher than it was in 20, um, 2009. Now, speaking at the venue of the public destruction of confiscated drugs, Marwa, who was presented or represented by the agency's director of prosecution and legal services, Deputy Commander General of Narcotics, Sunday Joseph, said the sheer volume of the drug haul with street value of $278 million, $250,000, equivalent to $194 billion, $775 million Naira, speaks volumes about the extent of nefarious activities of drugs worldwide. And the director said out of the 1.8 ton seizure, 1.828 blocks of cocaine would be crushed and set ablaze while the remnant will be secured for purpose of prosecution of the suspects who were brought to witness the procedure and sign the certificate of destruction. So what are your thoughts on this destruction, the NDLEA's destruction of the 194.7 billion worth of cocaine? The money is so heavy. It's easy to call out. I've not seen, I've not seen this much zero. You know? My that generations is. before me and after are thinking, what's next? Let's that hear what you have to say. <laughs> so Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp <laughs> to 081 803 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa <laughs> 1 with the hashtag Wayshow. Now, this is actually an interesting conversation because I remember I took the story yesterday, yesterday. of the burning of the mm -hmm. evidence. And I said that I don't understand. For me, I was just speaking as a common man. Mm. And this is what people are saying that cocaine has been known to be used as medicine cocaine also um of course is hard drugs but i mean it's not something you can just and because they take it in the purest form in a they period. use it so you can't it's not even something that you can just have consume. just just like that right mm. so i was now wondering when the government decided to say that because in his words he said it was not valuable yeah, to no them value. it was Can not bringing any value for them there was no economic value and all of that and i was now wondering so why the destruction i remember we talked about this yesterday that mm. it was so done in a hurry mm -hmm. because this thing just happened last i mean we've never seen cases this fast so <laughs> um somebody sent me a message on whatsapp yesterday mm. saying you know that uh, let me try to pull it out <coughs> right um in the meantime you know let me just quickly pull it out because i want us to be able to have a, an informed conversation right it says the drug dealers are ruthless mm -hmm. and can come for recovery it says best was mm -hmm. to swap with the u.s and sort pressing asu issues this was mm -hmm. saying that you'd have swapped it and solved pressing as to issues or sort yeah, some uh, medical issues yeah and when i spoke with the ndle um spokesperson yes this morning i mean this mm -hmm. evening he kept on saying that you know what people don't understand this thing people just make a lot of assumptions mm -hmm. so I, I want to hear your assumptions mm -hmm. first then i'll okay. come back to what he said so let me come yeah. with you lady my assumption is that first of all i have never seen any country, according to the movies we watch about, you know, drug trafficking, uh, drug consumption, I've never seen any government destroy evidence. Hmm. It could be in their storage, their warehouse, whatever it is for up to 30 decades. They will tell you that they are doing forensic tests, that by testing it, they know the country that probably produced the cocaine in particular. That is how detailed the FBI and co are when it comes to evidence. They can trace which particular country created that this. Shipment came from. That shipment came from. Mm. In which case, they could have given them back their cocaine in exchange for money if the government wanted to and used it for medicine on a global scale by UNICEF or whoever else, the, the, who or whatever, can influence. Nobody that I know 
by watching movie you, destroys evidence. As I said yesterday, I believe they're covering tracks for somebody, or they're going to claim they burnt a particular amount and they put it back in the market for their barons to sell. Mm. But we never know. Nigeria doesn't have a, what do they call it? Um, Forensics? No, no, no. This clear. Transparency? Transparency. Mm. So we can only be left to. So assume. I guess I like where you're coming assume. from around transparency because mm. I think this is where the big issue is. Mm. I think it's the lack of trust for government. Yes. That has even, even uh, um, given room for Nigerians to that question was, yeah. That's the burning of this um, evidence. But let me hear your thoughts, Glory, then I'll come back. Um, so I'm also going to be speaking like. Um, a layman. A layman, a layman was, yes. You know, a layman. I'm a little so, understanding. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I also had doubts um, with how fast this whole burning occurred. Mm. You know, so I felt like yes, I know what from what they said. Um, they've kept some samples they're going to use as evidence. You know, but I had to like read um, some of these write-ups, even in the past from other nations. So from what I read, you know, some whenever this is this happens and you know some drug lords are caught and this it's kept until the case is closed before any Anything action is taken about it. Mm. and also i also from a layman's point i don't know i also feel like even the method of disposal too it should not be in the bush should, like that like not they did be it like that they put is it that, in an incinerator or something yes in an incinerator so mm. is that even is that healthy just disposing it like that the and even the people that were disposing mm. some of them had no gloves even though they were trying so i had concerns with that but i'm like okay i i don't know maybe let me not speak too much but i feel like for me it's not there's something off about it well, let me read okay let me read femi baba femi's um comment about it okay it says fake news a lot on NDLEA cocaine bust, um, bust uh, claims and insinuations that NDLEA has destroyed all drug exhibits recovered from the Korodu cocaine warehouse are false and misleading. Our statement on, on the public destruction clearly states that the order to destroy mm. was issued by the Federal High Court in Lagos. The statement further states that a portion of the drug seizure is secured for the purpose of prosecuting the suspects in court. As part of transparency, in line with legal procedures, mm -hmm. and with, with um, the suspects were taken to venue of the public destruction to witness the quantity mm -hmm. destroyed, mm -hmm. and, and signed a certificate of <coughs> destruction. In fact, 27.5 kilogram of cocaine has been secured for the purpose of prosecuting those uh, of prosecution rather those making unfounded claims obviously didn't read our earlier statement or uh, or doing this out of mischief please disregard every false claim so hold on let me let me finish <laughs> so i then asked my producer to help me send because from what it is what, what i believe that should be done everywhere in the world right all countries stated that drug exhibition would only be disposed on conclusion of, of court the case. Case. They said something. they said this case is different that is they said this is how they do it but mm. this case is different how is it different when what? you've already destroyed it within days in consisting of public prosecutors or police right officers and stakeholders are established to monitor this disposal of the drug in some jurisdiction mm. some of the countries may need approval from specific authorities yes. such as enforcement agencies boards. environmental mm -hmm. bodies yes. and other health yes. officials yes. beforehand because that's what you said that open burning, burning. Thing, is not proper it's just like you know third party smoking is worse yes, yes, than the person so that they're, is they're polluting the air right yeah so beforehand you'd have other health officials right beforehand the common method used to dispose drugs is burning in incinerators Rator, yeah. by appointed and competent <laughs> enforcement agencies. With protective it was noted yeah. that methods of disposal vary from country, as in some countries, burning is carried out in open spaces, yeah. and in one country, it is carried out in the presence of public. 
For some countries, some drugs are not being destroyed but are used for medical treatment as well as we scientific study like, research. Oh, uh, please, may I react? Me as Lide Oropo. I as Lide Oropo. How I won't take no. What 194 billion naira cocaine looks like. So, even if you call the public and you were burning it, how do I know what it really looks like? Then again, it shouldn't be their case alone. It came from somewhere. If yeah. you find out the country, the country that it came from should be part of the investigation. And in which case, do you understand what I mean? The, the cocaine came from somewhere. It came from citizens of a particular country. The country too has a right to know who the people are. It's like sending um, a bomber who wore diaper on the plane. You, you said who influenced him. You said the country of birth. You said everything. Why can't we know where this, the country that this thing came from mm. involved their government? Because they must have been carrying out investigations. Mm. And then together, you decide what will be done, not destroyed before anybody else has been caught. Do you know the painful thing about it? After a while, we would not hear about this case again. Of course. Okay. As on that note, we, we take another go break. On a break. <laughs> <laughs> We we want to open our our lines. I really want to hear <laughs> your thoughts. I want to hear what you are saying about this cocaine <laughs> um, destruction. Stay with us, we'll be right back. All right, thanks for staying with us now. If you just tuned in, it's our ladies' night out, and we're just causing this um, destruction of the 194.7 billion worth of cocaine. Now, please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa one with hashtag Wayshow. Now, our phone line is now open. Remember the rule, turn off the volume of your television set or whatever it is they are watching from. And the number to call is 70 that's the number to call. So before we went on a break, right? Mm -hmm. So I I need the our government, right? When so I don't like when you come out with blanket conversations to say uh, your your allegations or your assumptions are unfounded and all of that. Mm. Because what Lady like said is absolutely true. True. I don't know what 194 billion what it looks, looks like. like. So, so even I don't you, know what you burnt. Yeah, so I don't know what you burnt. And right? I don't even know if it's cocaine that was, was inside. inside what you burnt. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, so, they are, so it is because over the years, there has been so much, uh, what's it called? Distrust Trust. in the part of government that it is so difficult that even when they are seen to be doing it's something so right, we still question believe, it. Yes. Now, there was a meth lab that was... Um, um, what's it called? Um, uncovered. Yes. In VGC. Have you heard anything since then? Did anything happen to the meth that was recovered from that VGC lab? They didn't burn that one. It wasn't destroyed. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Why so this why one? this particular consignment? No, there was something again like they mentioned. The other country. Transactions like this is an opportunity because drug cartel in the world, everywhere in the world, is a massive business. Right, there are some countries that they look forward to receiving this kinds of person yes. because guess what? If you pass through their borders, they get a commission on it. Mm -hmm. So this consignment That's came from true. somewhere. If it, it was straight to and again, from them, you then bring you should go back to them. You then bring five suspects mm. for a hundred and ninety-four billion mm. worth of cocaine. You bring five suspects and you say amongst them it's is a possible. Jamaican. It's right? So tell us how can the government convince us as Nigerians? That this is not a fraudulent act, or they are not trying to cover somebody's track, or there was no such thing as 194 billion worth of cocaine. Then again, Ua, there's no drug trafficking business on a small scale that does not involve five to twenty people. There's a connect, according to what I heard in a program power. There's a, someone that is a connect. They are the people that are manufacturing it. They are the people that bring it into your country. They are the people that distribute it into the different areas. Yes. And then they are the street soldiers. Mm -hmm. You cannot just hold five people and claim case closed. Close. Mr. Femi, Papa Femi is it? <laughs> NDLEA, friend of the house, former guest. I would like to say to you, challenge you, sir. That when you say we cannot just say, oh, something was done, that wasn't what... Nothing is clear about what has happened. 
We have questions. We may be able to bring you next week. But we will come with a fight of questions that you need to answer because we're not donuts. There is no way a representative of the Nigerian government, parastatal or what have you, could tell someone like me that that was 195 billion worth of cocaine or that that was even actually cocaine and that the people burning it had a business to be there in the first mm. place. Let's take a call. Yes, Our please. first caller for the evening. Thank you so much, Loma, from Abia State. Mm -hmm. Good evening, my beautiful sister from the house. Good evening, Loma. Thank you for you know, calling. I, I was just listening to you and uh, our sister here in the middle. See, let me just tell us what you people are saying is true. But to me, I don't think that these people are sincere mm -hmm. in their fight mm -hmm. for these illicit drugs. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes they can use hatred for somebody's product and uh, co opt it, it looks as if it is a drug and they will both destroy the property. So, what I'm just saying is that 190 something billion uh, is not a small amount of money mm -hmm. and uh, it's not a small amount of business. Mm -hmm. So, if they, th if they are telling us that they have really arrested people, mm -hmm. let us know them and let it be in change. And let them tell us. This is being so that at the end of the day, we will know those people that from the start, mm. uh, from the top, uh, from the bottom to the top, let us know the person who initiated it, the people that are in it. Otherwise, at the end of the day, <laughs> otherwise, at the end of the day, uh, they will continue deceiving us, destroying the people, the head, uh, uh, the properties of the people, the head. So let them show us how this thing was, how these people were caught. Thank you very much. Thank you. As Fela said, I said, turn your face more to the right wing. Oh, God, pata, pata, day for year. What I want to bring out about that is that the people you have caught, let us have independent bodies, not even Nigerians. Interview them and let them start naming the chain from the beginning to the Oga pata, pata. Mm. Because, you know, let me say something, right? It's like, I don't know, but I think I'm the only one worried about this much quantity of cocaine. How can you be the only one? No. Because I don't understand that how you were so much in a hurry. I would have, yeah, so I get that part of security because let me tell you something drug cartels over, all, all over the world are dangerous. They, can. they come with guns and they come with, I mean, so give them the other day at, no, the, no, the other day at Kogi. Mm. Where they went to was it because what state they bust the um the prison Kujay prison mm. and and release Boko Haram uh, what's it called so it is I get the fear mm. that they don't even have the 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 security capacity to secure this much quantity but of but they have the guts to burn it but wait <laughs> so it's better they burn it I get that part I am trying to understand it from both ends but what is more alarming for me is that this thing is so worrisome that the ease and the speed. I would have thought so there let would have been you, some level of scenario. detailing in terms of um, what's it called? How they handled the cocaine. As a civilian. Ha! Ooh. Let me take another color. Ah, before you take the Iori, call. please. <laughs> we can hold our colors. Thank you for calling. Iori Hello. from Gombe. Go ahead. Good evening, ladies. Good evening. Good evening. Well, my set on this issue is that Currently, Nigeria is facing money issues. As we is on strike, they are asking for how much. And we, are, and we have 198 billion, billion naira okay. Where are the legal advisors in this country? Can they look for countries where cocaine is let down and tell these things to them? Let's have full money to develop our, our country. Yeah, but it is, uh, the yeah, money would have sorted us. This money can even solve their problem. Yes. They, they Instead of bombing everything. Sadly, they burnt it. You know, go ahead. This country. No, you know. You know, because. That's just my take on the issue. Thank you, Yore. No, Thank you, so much. you know, So, I was going to say that. Because, see, even if cocaine in itself is an illegal drug, 
cocaine is a medical it element is but for it's medical it's drugs it's useless. and the fact they say it has no economic value no, 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 what does that even mean useless. what does that mean that was what, what does so that back mean? to the point i was trying to yeah, make before quickly. the court came they say oh they don't have the security for whatever drug barons are useless imagine myself civilian armed robbers now drug barons looted somewhere hmm? and then threw the money over my fence they took note that it's my fence, Nigeria, that they threw it in. Mm. And then I say, ah, I don't know who get money, oh, I'm afraid to. You and then I go and bond the money. Ah, they're still coming for Because you. I don't have the security to mm. protect myself. They will still when they come for, for their now. money they to ask what for they you. Throw, yes. Why which did security you? Yes. did I have that I did, that I had King Kong courage <laughs> to bond, bond the money. it, so exactly. So that's, that's their excuse of, they burnt it because they don't have security. When they come, knowing that you are the one that burnt it, who is going to save you? Who are you gonna call? So now I want to bring another angle. Do Please you believe do. that the five suspects that they have mentioned that these are the people that are linked to that 194 billion worth of uh, cocaine? Do you believe that those people are the real people? Of course oh. not. Why? They will show them they will disappear. Maybe they came from Chad. Uh, uh, or they do came you know, from we are talking about whole They're not the ones. Did you see the video? Mm. Mm. It cannot just be five people now. Mm. Like anybody, even for that quantity, uh, for that, that quantity, look at the amount. Except maybe that's actually not the amount. Four billion in dollars is how much? Mm. There's no way a transaction like that would come, and other countries would not be involved. There's no way a transaction like that would come, and you did not ask FBI, CIA for advice. You went to burn it. Fire burn you. It's not a case of <laughs> fire burn. <laughs> okay, so so I mean, let's try to bring this back home. We can't bring it home. They've burnt it. <laughs> <laughs> it is burnt well. <laughs> they offered it as burnt offering <laughs> to save our souls. Money they could have exchanged for I the people in the medical sector globally that You're need cocaine it for and to use the money to sort out ASU health issues, road issues. They say there is no economic. Mm. Did we tell you to go and sell the cocaine? Hmm. Do you understand? I get you. I get you. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, let me drink some water. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I was going to say mm. that what would have been the best approach? Because again, mm. and this is why, I mean, 2023 is around the corner. There's a lot of propaganda happening all over the place. Mm. And this is why when we, we throw certain questions at our leadership, right? We're throwing those questions not because we just want to antagonize you as a leader. Yeah, but we want to, you to be able to give us some level of comfort that we you we, you are we can bank on you yes that we can trust you yes right so what would have been the best approach to this because again do not forget hmm. efcc goes to bust um oh sugar we have another caller sorry <laughs> um abuja you're live dk from abuja yeah, thank you for calling like, uh, go ahead yeah thank you very much i want to make my contribution go ahead please yeah, you see, sometimes we, we deceive ourselves. Huh? Let me tell you, there's some, this thing has been legalized to some pharmacies. Mm -hmm. Hello? Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, listen okay, yes. yeah, they give some pharmacies the license to deal on these things. Mm -hmm. I think that the Nigerian government should have sold this to those pharmacies and make some money. Mm -hmm. And for them to brought out some things like this and say they burnt. Do you know that this, this thing they used to produce bread, you can pack one kilo of it and use selectives to selective it, hmm. compress it to the ultimate of one kilo. That's the one, this one kilo you are hearing, which is being sold at 14 million, 500,000. Jesus. Jesus. In Nigeria today, yes, one kilo, one bag of this thing you are seeing. Why should they brought out some things like this and say that they, they, they have bought it? Why some countries are making money with it? The poorest country in Africa here is Guinea Bissau, and the, the rich, their, their, their president was the richest in hmm. Africa because of this business. Hmm. So let's no, no brain is idle, man. That's my contribution. Thank you, man. Ah, but bless it, DK. You understand the business so well. You say, you say, you say the compressor inside that uh, bread something that one kilo is fourteen point something million. I don't even listen because that billion still they give my my forefathers fourteen point something billion. Do you understand?
So for and me, the I, pharmacist needed. Yes. So you could not have said. So I, I want the federal government to really come out for and once. explain no, and in an open panel. Yes, for once, because I need you to justify this to me. Let me go back to the statement. In an open panel. The story that I took yesterday, the statements from the Ed, um, NDLEA boss, right? When he was talking about um, why they burnt down this 194 um, billion worth of cocaine. He, a man. <laughs> <laughs> he said they argued that although a small portion of the substance was re retained by the court for evidence, the majority was set ablaze because the government could not find any other legal use for it. Inside the story of this uh, conversation, he said that it did not have any economic value. That one, that one. How? Please, there are medical doctors that are licensed to travel with cocaine. We citizens don't find any legal use for you, sir. I mean it. The person that made that statement, and the LEA, whoever he is, we do not have a legal use for you. Because if you haven't investigated well, the uses of cocaine, the, the exchange, the market, the global involvement, I personally, as a citizen of Nigeria, do not have legal use for you on that seat. Let me take Suleiman from Bauchi. I'm annoyed. You're alive. <laughs> Hello? Yes, go ahead. Yes, please. Uh, I want to... I want to uh, discuss... Uh, make my contribution on what you are discussing. Go ahead. So, I want us to be careful when we are discussing this issue. Before this drug, something like say, the information was supplied by the American Drug Agency mm -hmm. to the Nigerian NDLE. Mm -hmm. And they have been working since 2018. Nigeria is a Korea country, mm. not a not drug consuming country. Not a, not, a not a source for production okay. or even harvest. Not a drug consuming country. Go ahead. Not a drug consuming country. That's is not meant for Nigeria. It's just a transition. Okay. Okay. To other countries. Mm. And again, uh, you don't, you don't, you, you don't use a proceed of crime to to for for any any other thing or to destroy it. Okay. The uh, uh, the people uh, the people that were were included in the place that uh, the drug were destroyed. We have American agents there. Yes. So they have been working with the NDMD. Hmm. We should be. Uh, we should trust our government, please. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank we should you. trust our government. I like what you're saying, Suleiman. Yeah. Um. So. Um. I like what you're saying. We will trust our government. Um. <laughs> In the future. <laughs> and, and yes, these drugs were monitored. It was not a one overnight yeah. kind of busting. Mm. They have been monitoring, just like it the meth. Since 2018, yes. from the story I read. Yes. From just like the meth um, uh, lab in mm. VGC, they had monitored for for a while mm. before they finally, you know, got a hold of this. So I I hear Suleiman saying that Nigeria is just a transit it's country. But I beg to differ. <laughs> if you go and check the numbers of drug consumers within Nigeria, even the NDLA will tell you is alarming. He right? In Korea Consumption. He no, it's a Korea company. That's what the country. I don't think he meant it as in the past. No, he said we're not a consuming country. Oh, well, I want to, I beg to differ that we consume. We consume. Right? From the top to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we consume. You know, yes, we might be a Korea company. A country, country yeah. but we we consume drugs in this country because if you go and check the numbers, it is alarming the number of people that are involved in illicit drugs yeah. these days. But let's take comments. Um, let's take comments. I have Glory, a comment have a for comment. myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, Our network is funny today. Your network is funny. Yeah, I get this mess, This is from Bobby Kennedy. He says the burning of cocaine worth. 194 billion naira by NDLA. This is a class A drug that was confiscated and should be an evidence material in evidential law under the criminal law proceedings. If you look at law of evidence in any criminal proceeding, if you look at law of, of evidence in any criminal proceedings, that's the core requirement. You don't burn, destroy an evidence until the entire case is concluded, mm. including any potential appeals proceedings. The drugs are criminal evidence and should be preserved 
at a secure location. Only a court can order for destruction of this kind of evidence on grounds of national security and safety. All right. So for me, this is a minus for NDLA. Mm. The damage control by their image makers raises questions on the alleged suspicion. So the thing is, we are commending them, but beyond commendation, right? So the, the reason we are even discussing this, I believe that Nigerians, until we start to probe more, ask questions, we won't we solve problems. So yet. this is not a situation of us and them. Mm -hmm. can, we, can we do things better? That's what I'm saying. So it says, raises questions on alleged suspicion. Who went to court to obtain the said order seeking for the horrid destruction? Mm. Have they been able to conclude investigation? Have they successfully arranged and prosecuted the suspect before destroying the evidence? Mm -hmm. I have covered court proceedings in the past. Courts needed to inspect it. Come on, uh, he said, come on, please. Tell it to the uh, Marines. Stop mm. fooling Nigerians. After the, banning, uh, the banner headline, you have messed up the job. Mm -hmm. It is fishy. Oh, please tell us the big man you are protecting. Exactly. This is some Austin from the, So this is the Let's question. Acknowledge our YouTube, YouTube person, yeah. M. Jones, M. Jones says, why the haste to destroy evidence and who are they protecting? It's probably a government official involved in this drug business. Ayaki Kush Alabi says, you are doing well. And then we have a comment that says, good evening, ladies. I NDLEA are now James Bond. 006.5 <laughs> at this point. Uh, they are giving Nigerians a uh, film trick. These drugs were not burnt. They are doing cover up for a big cartel involved in this case. Let's invite FBI, Israel and America drugs experts, to investigate the case. The drug is for elections, talks to destroy this country more when they sell it. And that's a good suggestion. You partner with your brothers from other countries, Israel, America, and FBI. Let them come and put their two cents, two dollars, two p, and two yen <laughs> inside it and tell us what they would have done differently. Thank you very much. So they had a judge. Someone says they had a judge at the seat of the burning. So it's not about having the judge or having. So you know, Nigerians. So I don't want us to argue. You understand Who what we involved? are arguing. What you did was not is good. that you know you are not doing we have seen cases doing? in this country. Thank you. They, this was done hurriedly. Yeah. This was mm. so. This is why it's raising a lot yes. of dust. Yes. That who are you protecting, or was there even anything called a hundred and twenty-four words of place. okay yeah. in the first place? Or you are just trying to make it look like you are doing a yeah, job. Do. We don't you know who did what's wrong. All we're saying is you are not doing well. <laughs> Bottom line. <laughs> Bottom line. Yeah, no, but hey, yeah. ladies, we had a fantastic conversation. I did. We are just saying to our government, right, we are not coming to attack any government official. Mm -hmm. My own is that when we want to do something, let us do it well, right? Drug is not something to joke with. Drug yeah. is a major thing. For you to bust this kind of quantity of drug, that is, they should be celebrating and, you know, not raising dust. So that's why we need clarity mm -hmm. and integrity when handling things like this. That's all we're asking right so thank you so much ladies thank you lady thank, thank you glory oh you don't want it to end ah yo yo i think nigerians <laughs> are actually asking the right question yes <laughs> but we have to thank you for your These participation days, nigerians are you, know, you know the thing is nigerians we are not used to people questioning leadership yes and that's why somebody might feel like we are attacking a leader no we're not attacking just answer the questions and tell us what you did right we have to and where you made wrong. forums yes. where nigerians come and question people absolutely and you give us answers. absolutely that absolutely us. well thank you ladies i think we had a fantastic conversation yes, if i can say so myself I did yes we so did we did all right so before we go and show you follow us <laughs> on instagram at ratio africa tiktok um youtube everywhere at ratio africa you can interact with us further drop a comment and more importantly Follow all our engagements on social media, like, share, invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Mm -hmm. Now, this quote is very interesting. The findings of this year's World Drug Report fill in and further complicate the global picture of drug challenges, underscoring the need for broader international cooperation mm -hmm. to advance balanced and integrated health and criminal justice response mm -hmm. to supply and demand. So what we are asking for is absolutely mm. collaborate with more transparent countries 
collaborate with those countries that if they catch you with cocaine, there are some countries they just hang you immediately. Exactly. I think it's um which collaborate with China. Those Asian countries. Vietnam. Yes, those Asian Call countries. Them in, let if you them go on. in, even if it is one tiny dot of cocaine, they if catch they you. They You are you are you are oh, dead. No. So collaborate with those countries that have integrity, that have proven to have integrity over the years. Oh, then have we better experience and then let them advise you on how we do these things. 194 billion worth of cooking. I'm still in shock. You're still shaking me. All right, we'll see you guys <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> At 8 p.m. I should bring another great conversation to your screen. <laughs> He's shaking me and my generations. <laughs>